back to the Queenies show. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Queenies. Um, make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, and let's get going to Road to 100, y'all. We is we is cracking them out. We is almost there. Um, I am dropping videos once a week now, um, just to keep the momentum going. To make sure you know your girl hasn't been in, went MIA on y'all. Y'all know I just recently, me and the fam, just moved into a uh, a new house, a four bedroom, two bath. We did a house tour. If you haven't already, make sure you guys click on that video. Um, but in this video, y'all. I'm literally stressed out. I am beyond stressed. Your girl has been in her house for two weeks and I think we're gonna have to move again. And you're wondering like why you just got this house? Why would you wanna leave? Why we wanna how you gonna break your lease, all this stuff. So y'all, the damn air don't work. Like we have two thermostats and it's hot as hell in here. When I tell you it's hotter than all hell in this fucking house, it's ridiculous. I'm doing this video in my empty ass master bedroom and I have nothing in here but a few boxes for my kids and stuff like that. We can't even sleep in here because it's so goddamn hot. We're literally, me and my husband and our kids are camping out in the fucking living room. Mind you, this house, I fell in love with it. I love everything about it. And I'm really disappointed that I'm already having issues and it, it's not good. My husband already said we're gonna sign a year lease and he's ready to go. He's ready to go build his own house. Cause we were just trying to get this house to see how it feels to be in a house. Cause we've had apartments and townhouses our first house together. Um, so I really wanted to enjoy it. But now we're gonna think about just doing our little year here and then looking to buying. Hopefully the market's good. Cause he wants to do the ground, built from the ground up, which I'm all for. I'd rather have my own AS, my own, everything's new and my only AS is the only one that's ever gonna touch the toilets. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm all for that. So hopefully we can do that to see what we gonna end up next year. Hoping we can. But anywho, y'all, let me tell you about this drama that we're having with this house. So we did, when we, before we signed the lease, we did like a maintenance orientation where you and the maintenance person from the property walk through everything, make sure there's no damages, make sure things are all working, everything like that. Your girl never thought about the damn air because I'm thinking it's Arizona. This is a remodeled house. So why the fuck would the air not be working, right? So it's frustrating because I didn't even think about checking that at all. I didn't, I didn't think about checking it at all and I should have because now a bitch is dying okay I wouldn't even sign the lease if I knew the air wasn't working so pretty much we did a walkthrough we found little things that need to be fixed or whatever like that so they come back out in 30 days the property uh maintenance people will come out in 30 days and fix that um so they come back out August 1st to do all that stuff but bitch they don't do the air so Pretty much once my, my husband told me to turn, we were moving in and stuff like that. Mind you, we moved in the end of June here. So my husband said that he, um, he's like, cut, cut the air on since we're moving and stuff and it's hot as hell. So I cut the air on. We have two thermostats and two units outside that supposed to push the air in or whatever the, whatever the fuck the AC units outside. So I turned them both on and I set them both on auto or cool or whatever the fuck I did at that time. And I put it all the way down to like 62 because it's hot as hell outside. It's over 100 degrees. So getting it cool as fast as I can. I'm turning on all the ceiling fans. Because like I said in my home tour, my house tour, y'all saw every room had a ceiling fan. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out that video of the house. I mean, it's a gorgeous house. A bitch is just dying because we ain't got no AC. So um, we did all that. And then we noticed like as we're getting in and we call it a night, like, you know, we're done moving in most of the big stuff. Um, and shout out to my husband. He's the best. He literally did this move with him and my two older kids and they, I owe them a round of applause um, for that because they did the thing. Um, your girl couldn't help as much as I wanted to because I had the two babies and they was a piece of work already, y'all. So, um, I, so after we got started on everything, we noticed that the air wasn't cooling. Like it wasn't cool in the house. The, 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 the family room has its own thermostat, so it cools the front of the house, and then the one bedroom that's on the side of that that's connected somehow, they run that whole thermostat, and then the other thermostat's supposed to do the other bedrooms and the living room that we are camping out in right now because we cannot use our master bedroom because it's hotter than all hell in this house. So, we've been um, camping, camping out in there, and we just never fill it. So, we call, I call maintenance. Maintenance like, oh, we apologize for the inconvenience. We would definitely get somebody out there to check out your unit and stuff like that. So we wait like a few days and a tech comes out and he's like, okay, I found the problem. Um, I need to order a part. So as soon as I get the part, I'll be able to come in and fix your air and we'll be good to go. 
I said, okay, cool. So literally like the next day they call, like, yeah, we got the part, we're gonna come back out, it's okay, we come out and fix it. Sure, why not? We need air, obviously, I want my AC. I'm tired of feeling like a bitch is in motherfucking county right now with um, blowing out box fans, bitch, like it's nothing. So he comes out and he, um, no, they send somebody outside. It's not even the same guy, which, which irritates me in this whole process. So they send somebody else out. He comes out. It's a guy, a younger guy, and, a, and, a, and it was two guys that came out last time. It's one, a younger one, an older one. They come out, put the part in. Then all of a sudden, they start blowing out heat when they're testing it. So now, bitch, we have heat on top of heat. So now we sweating. Thank God they were here when it was all happening. So they're like, oh, no, that's not supposed to be happening. So they do the wiring. They fix the wiring or whatever like that. They get it cool. So we're good. Then... We turn down the AC. I mean, we turn it, set it at a certain amount so it can blow when it gets to that temperature in the house. So we do that. We set it. Then it just stopped working. It's not blowing again. So then I called back again. They sent the same vendor out, but a different person. He comes out, open up all the vents. He checks everything, checks the outside to make sure it's blowing in and all this other stuff. He fixes it and get it back cool again. Then... He leaves. The next day, same problem. Like, the motherfucking air just go off, y'all. I don't know what's going on, but it's frustrating. So, mind you, I done had two texts at this time. So, then another tech comes. And, mind you, when they're coming, they have, like, four-hour intervals that they're coming in. The first tech came between 8 and 12. The next tech came out between 4 to 8. And then the next tech came, And then they didn't leave our house. The first tech left our house at, like, an hour and a half after being here. The second tech that came out with the, the younger guy and the older guy, they left our house around um, nine something. And then the last tech we had, he posted came between four and eight. And he didn't leave the damn house until damn near 11 o'clock at night. And then you know what the fuck he told me? When he did, was about to go, he told me that he found something else that was wrong and a piece that he needs to order another part for the unit. So why the fuck nobody ever said this in the process of us getting all these different texts to come out that was my was my question why i don't understand that so he said that once he gets the part in then he'll be able to he's gonna come back out and do the work since he knows what's going on with the unit i said i appreciate that because i'm tired of getting everybody named mom in my house and y'all if one person gets it going the next person says oh, there, there's nothing wrong the vents are open stuff like that i don't know what the hell they did at this house but they need to have this goddamn air blowing because at this point it's getting so fucking frustrated like my husband is over it. He's ready to go. Like, he's like, we should stay. I asked where we was at. Like, it's, it's just a lot. So, I call. He said he's going to call, put the party in. He'll be back out when it happens. I said, okay, fine. I called the, the leasing agent or the, you know, the property people. And I asked them, like, okay, do you guys have a time of when the part will be in? You know what the fucking lady told me out? This lady said that the part wouldn't be in. They're looking at the part not being in. Um, which is the people I pay the rent to. They don't see the part coming in until July 22nd. Bitch, it is July 9th, 10th, or whatever the fucking day it is. I think it's the 10th. <laughs> like, so what are we supposed to do in the time being? They said they can only give us grant, give us $100 for a hotel room for the inconvenience. Mind y'all, I work from home. I have four fucking kids. What the fuck we gonna do with that? Uh, uh, fuck, first of all, what hotel, unless you're living in a motherfucking rat hotel, is $100 a night? And they tell me they could just accommodate us like that. Know what the fuck y'all going to do is, is fix this. Y'all going to downgrade this rent that y'all want next month. I'm sorry. I'm not that girl. Like, no. Anything's wrong and it's your property, you're going to do what you have to do. You're going to fix this. Because this this is ridiculous. This is absurd. Mind you, I have four kids in this house. Thank God the living room is cool. Because I can't imagine if the whole house was hot like it is right now. And I'm making this fucking video. I don't know if I said it in, this, in my bedroom that I'm supposed to be sleeping in. But I'm not sleeping in right now because it's hot as hell in here. Um, but... They told us that that's only they can accommodate us for. So I'm going back and forth with the lease of the office because I don't understand how. And I sent them. And, and, and you're damn right. I sent them the damn light bill too. I'm not paying a higher shape. Like, no, we're not doing that. We're not. <laughs> I'm not paying for that because I'm pretty sure my bill wouldn't be this high. At my townhouse, my light bill was only running me like 140. And that's still high. But in, in, in Arizona in the summer, that's not bad. I got a damn near almost $300 fucking, I mean, over $300 light bill. And only been here two weeks, y'all. Like, it's, um, I'm over it. Your girl is tired. That's why I don't have a lot of energy in this video. But I am, I'm frustrated. So, 
I'm really trying to figure out what we gonna do. Um, they're trying to get, I've even reached up to the higher people because we didn't pay a lot of money to women's this house. We paid prorated rent for June and they paid for, we paid for July's rent. So they need to get it together or it's gonna be an issue. Um, they tried to send somebody out yesterday and Friday because today is Sunday. They tried to send somebody out Saturday and yesterday to have them come out tell them they can fix it temporarily until the park comes in. So why the hell y'all didn't do that? before all this like it doesn't make sense like obviously the people that y'all sending out don't know what the hell they're doing I really was happy about renting with them but it's just been a disaster since we moved in here and then on top of that um we have a ring doorbell outside our house which i love i never had one your bitch is from the hood i ain't never had one so it's nice to have one i thought so whoever put the ring camera on our on our house Mind you, they put the ring, the cameras already on there before um, they even, you know, before we moved in and stuff like that. They don't even leave the packaging because you have to scan like a QRS code or whatever to get to download it onto the, through the app, the ring app or whatever. I can't even do that job because you know why? They threw away the damn, the packaging. So I can't even get the code. Then I take the ring camera off the little thing they told me, like the main people trying to tell me how to take the camera apart pretty much to take it to get it. Found the QR, QRS code, y'all, but... It's so close to the house how they have it. I came and put my phone there to scan it. And if I do try to get over there and try to get it, it's so close to the, the code, we can't even get it. So I mean, your girl is going through it. So now they're sending a maintenance person out specifically to do that next week. So I will let y'all know how that turns out. But I thought I'd be giving y'all updates saying I didn't decorate the damn house. I'm slowly but surely getting everything put together and I can let y'all know what's going on and get y'all updated um, because I love everything about my house. Um, I love living here. It's just that I need the AC to work and the little maintenance thing that we found that they need to fix. But other than that, it'll be a nice house when they do all that. Um, my kids are happy. They're not happy because they have to switch schools, y'all. That's gonna be another video. As well as your girl cut her hair, as you can see, y'all. I had to switch it up a little bit. That'd be another video too. Like I said, y'all, I'm gonna be dropping y'all videos every week. Um, just to give y'all an insight of my little life. Um, so if you like that, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe and join the family. And we're a road to 100, y'all. We is on our motherfucking way for sure. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, y'all, because I gotta go back to being a mom. I gotta get these kids laid down because your girl gotta clock in at 5 30 at this damn job. So until next video, y'all, I'll see y'all later. Bye.